Corbett Maths is another amazing website that you can use. It has lots of resources on here. Um, you've got videos and worksheets. You've got a primary section, five a day. Um, you've got further maths and GCSE revision, revision cards and some books. I'm going to start with five a day. So if you just hover the cursor over where it says five a day, you'll get a drop down like this. I'm going to click on to five a day GCSE nine to one. And then what you can see here is you've got a different five you've got a different five a day for each single day of the year so if i click into numeracy you've got numeracy five a day which gives you a couple of questions to have a go at you can print this out or you can have a go on a piece of paper it's completely up to you and then afterwards you can go into it, it says january answers and click and find the actual answers with the five a day you can go on to things which are slightly harder or easier you can choose which is really good so you can go on to something such as the foundation five a day if that's too easy for you you can move up and as you can see the topics get more and more difficult and when you get into higher you start touching on the higher content straight away as well so that's the five a day answers are provided on the website you can keep going all the way down to the bottom and it goes all the way to the 31st of December. So you've got loads and loads and loads of practice right there. A good starting point if you don't know where to get started. And if you find that you can't do one of the questions, then look at the videos for the question that you weren't able to do. So videos and worksheets. Let's say I got something wrong. So I'm going to go back to five a day. Let's say I did foundation five a day. And I forgot how to do this here. Or I got these questions wrong, which is the fraction stuff. So I go back, I go into worksheets and videos, control and find, and you should be able to find fractions. So just search for fractions and it should bring up all of the different elements of fractions that they are on the website. So um, let's say it was fractions adding different denominators. I can click the video. It'll take me through to a YouTube video very similar to the one in Math Genie gives you a couple of uh, examples and then some questions to have a go at. I can then go on to practice questions. And this gives me some GCSE style questions. And the thing that's different about Corbett Maths to Maths Genie, obviously you've got the answers right there as well, um, is that these textbook exercises and the booklets are different. So these are more like worksheets where you've got loads and loads of fluency questions and then some apply questions which are great. The apply questions are great because they put the skills into a context and are more likely the questions that you're going to get in your GCSC. The general idea is to get onto the apply questions and apply the knowledge that you've learned. With these worksheets as well, you can click there to take you to the video um and you can scan it i think somewhere for the answers i think that's where you get the answers from or perhaps it's at the bottom so there the answers i think uh but even if you can't you go back into the website and you can find the answers as well so you've got practice questions which are different to the textbook exercises which is loads of videos lots of practice freely available on there as well in addition to that, you can click more GCSE revision and then you will have a lot of resources here. So for example, 100 days to go, uh, GCSE 2025, you've got higher foundation. Let's click on the higher and what you'll have is uh, booklets. And I think these are paid resources, but all of the other ones on there are free as well. So let me have a look. Yeah, I think the school needs to order. Um, yes, so there's a there is a fee. So there are lots of free resources on here as well. Some of them obviously are paid, but the free resources should be enough to get you started at least on your revision. Hopefully this video has helped you out. Please share it with friends or other people who you know are going through revision now to be able to prepare for their exams. And if you are not in year 11, perhaps in year 9 or year 10, do bookmark these websites that I'm uploading because they are going to help you when it comes to your GCSEs. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.